The two most important figures for the first three months of the year are our average time to let a property, which sits at a very impressive 10 days, and we agreed leases on 35 properties in total, which represents an increase of almost 50% on the previous quarter. This includes a beautiful five-bedroom country home let within four days for £1,400 per month and a fantastic apartment within the prestigious Glen Eagles village in just two days. Demand for one- and two-bedroom flats continues to be strong, but we're also recording increased demand for three- or four-bedroom homes, with a real lack of supply increasing the potential monthly rental income. If you have any properties that may fit this criteria, I would be delighted to meet with you and chat about our award-winning services. Our sales team have also been busy selling properties to some of our existing landlords, who are eager to capitalise on the buoyant rental market and before new tax increases came into effect on the 31st of March. In turn, we see the coming quarter being busy, with new rental properties being marketed. Because of this, and to ensure our clients' investments are protected and income maximised, we offer all of our landlords advice on what potential tenants are looking for, and advice on showcasing their property as effectively as possible to help their property stand out from the crowd. Clyde Letting cannot boast about being one of the cheaper agents in the town. However, what we can guarantee is to deliver a proactive and fully comprehensive service to all our landlords to protect and maximise your assets. We spend time referencing our tenants to make sure we secure the correct tenant for each property, and our unique MyClyde function gives landlords 24-hour access to their actual property file, keeping you fully up to date from anywhere in the world. If you're thinking of letting your property or would like to talk to us about moving your existing portfolio to our management care, give us a call any day of the week. Thank you for watching.